So how do you create this culture where the idea of overanalyzing things is, is, is like, it's okay for your employees to initiate that. Like I, and I don't, I, I, we have a culture of overanalyzing. It will come as no surprise to anyone who's listening to this show, right? That clearly at the businesses I have, we are constantly overanalyzing things. Like how could this interaction have gone differently? What can we learn from it? What was good? What was bad? We're always doing this because it helps us get better. Yeah. But how uh, do you, I, I, how do you it, encourage your team members to do it? To you? I think it, yeah, I think that um, some people ne- will never have it. It just, in, whether you're a business owner or not, you're just cruising along. But it, if, yeah, you're if you're not, yeah. yeah, you just don't have it. doesn't mean you're not great at other things. No, no. But uh, you just you don't know, have this. Just, yeah. You just don't have that. So I think it's uh, important to try to surround yourself with people that are good at things that you're not. And I think a great way to, uh, well, let me back up. I, I would say the best business owners, the best managers, the best supervisors are people that are very self-aware of this one specific topic because they know their words have power and they can connect with their people, their team on a different level because they have that empathy or they know that, oh, you know, I when I was an employee, I remember this and I want to take care of it this way. So in your business, let's say your daughter she took the initiative to reach out to the boss and said, Hey, I just want to clarify this. You got a minute for a call. Well, if, if you're running the business and you, and you're getting that feedback up to you where maybe you should have asked and and taken the initiative, that person is somebody you really want to take good care of, because I would say that person is going to advance in your organization. They're going to add a different level and you can ask them, Hey, Hey, when you, if you're, you know, let's say they become a supervisor, a manager, a, a, a VP, whatever, have them call you out on those things. Right. Have them help help you. 